Psalms 11 to 3K David, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? In earthquake-prone areas of the world, the architects and engineers have over the years been constructing buildings that are resistant to the destructive powers of earthquakes and to a large extent has been successful at it. Because the power stability of any structure to stand in times of disaster is in its foundation. Mark 4 to 3 minus 9 KJV hearken. Behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up, and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And other fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased, and brought forth some thirty, and some sixty, and some an hundred. And he said unto them, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. From time to time, everyone needs to do self-examination to confirm your life's traction. For those who are not in Christ, or Christless, your foundation is systemically faulty. Nothing the Word of God can connect with until you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. This is the original foundation for all human beings. Good soil. All other foundations are hereditarily fruitless. Wherever you are right now, invite Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And be your foundation, the faulty lines will be obliterated immediately. Do have a fruitful week. Eid. Addendum kindly press the middle paragraph twice it will stop for you to read after reading press once it will continue to the next page and repeat same till you finish reading thanks.